There's a baby in the car, there's a baby in the car. Racial discrimination or good police work. This is the moment that British sprinter Bianca Williams, her partner and three-month-old baby were stopped and searched by police in July 2020. He's just been detained for a search. Don't want to touch me, my son! Search. OK, madam, calm down. We're going to look after your son. I don't want to look after him. My son is okay, in get the up. Car. Detained in a section one of place for a search for weapons. It prompted a national outcry as she accused the police of racism. Today, Miss Williams arrived to give evidence as five of the officers involved are facing gross misconduct proceedings. At the heart of this case are two radically different interpretations of the same event. Bianca Williams argues that her family were just driving home when they were stopped and searched for no other reason than the colour of their skin. The police officers, on the other hand, say that the car was being driven erratically, that it sped away from them, giving them cause for the stop. Detailed body cam footage was played as the officer's lawyers tried to get Miss Williams to accept that the car failed to stop, like here, or that her partner, Ricardo dos Santos, had driven dangerously, cutting a corner here. Miss Williams replied, I believe he made the right decision. I don't know anybody who lives on that road. If we'd both got out of the car, anything could have happened. He pulled up outside our house. Asked whether she and Mr. De Santos had ever discussed whether he might do anything differently to stop being repeatedly pulled over by police, she replied, no, because he can't change the colour of his skin. She became visibly emotional as footage of the moment itself was played out. Relax yourself. What the you guys doing for what reason? What do you mean I avoided police events? Stop following me for what reason? The careers of the officers are in the hands of the panel chair. She has plenty of video evidence from which to draw her conclusions. Matthew Thompson, Sky News.